Hello YouTube and welcome to another entry in my Let's Discuss series and my next topic is Call of Duty and wow what a great name to say. So many people hate Call of Duty and love Call of Duty. Uh, I'm a little bit of a mix in between but there's plenty of reasons for that. I used to be really into Call of Duty. If you watched my intro you know that's where my background came from for YouTube. But uh, let's let's really talk about what's going on with Call of Duty now. Uh, a lot of discussions go with, oh, we want boots on the ground, it's not Call of Duty anymore, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, my two cents is, I like boots on the ground too, I prefer it. I don't mind the sliding, that's cool, sliding's decent. All this boost jumping shit's gotta go though. A boost jumping is, it, it's too much, that's, that's not what Call of Duty is, and... You can argue against me what Call of Duty is, what it isn't, but Boots on the Ground is the way to go. Um, although I have played Titanfall 2, and the whole grappling system is fucking awesome. I fucking love the grapple shit. So, it could go either way. I just think that there's too much boost jumping right now. Uh, it's what deterred me from Black Ops... Oh, no. There's so much more that deterred me from Black Ops 3. But boost jumping is one of them. Like, they'll do all these remade maps of older stuff that, you know, used to play really well. But with boost jumping, all of the ways that we used to play in the past are now gone. And everything's just jump there, jump there, jump there, jump there, jump. And I just think it's really annoying. Um, they're making Call of Duty too fast. And maybe it's just my preferences changing. Maybe I just prefer a slower game style now. I did play the Battlefield 1 beta, and I, I really enjoyed that. That was that was pretty cool. I enjoyed the sniping on that. But uh, let's get back to Call of Duty. So, uh, I am a boots on the ground advocate. I would say I like the boots on the ground. I'm so happy for Modern Warfare 4 coming back. Or, you know, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 1. Uh, excited for it to be coming back. That's where I started. Never really played the game. Got into sniping. Was awesome at it. Sniping pistols. That's all I ever did. Good, good shit. Good shit. Uh, I like that. But um, what I really want to talk about is all this hatred for uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. There's so much backlash on it. And, oh, this isn't Call of Duty. This isn't this. And it's like, mm, some of the shit looks pretty cool. And I think they're doing a good job so far. I think there's too many people stuck in the old ways of Call of Duty. It's like you can't get past it. Like, I know Call of Duty 4 is dead and gone. I mean, it's making a little comeback now, but that style of gaming is gone. It's now being more faster. Call of Duty's audience, it says 17 on the box, but we all know it's for 10 to 15, 16-year-olds. Uh, I don't really see that many people my I'm 24, so I don't really see many people my age playing Call of Duty anymore. And even I, myself, am starting to uh, decline in the time I spend on it. Uh... Call of Duty Black Ops 3, got the season pass, got everything. I usually go for the uh, prestige editions when I get Call of Duty, because I just think they're nice, whatever they include in it, it's good. Um, but it's it's just getting worse and worse as years go on. And it's not so much the gameplay that's changing too much, it's really Activision. Uh, not enough people are pissed, or showing that they're pissed, about the whole supply drop deal. I know I'm super late. It's, what, September now? Uh, I could have made talk, been talking about this a long time ago, but um, hopefully, my so far, my, my thoughts for Infinite Warfare are it looks good, it should play good, based on what they described so far. I haven't seen anything about supply drops. If they do do that shit, I will be thoroughly pissed because I got the, uh, the, the Prestige Edition for that. But uh, that's what blew me, that's what took me away from Black Ops 3. Halfway through the game cycle, I couldn't get the uh, the DLC weapons, which were only for supply drops. And uh, recently they did that thing where it was, uh, oh, if you spend 500 um, crypto keys, which who the fuck is just carrying 500 crypto keys? No one. Fuck you, Activision. Um... Or if you pay 2,500 COD points, which was like, what, uh, the $20 package, I think. No, that only gave you like 2,400 COD points. You had, to, you had to spend like over $20 to get it. And it was like one weapon drop, one melee drop, and uh, the 10 um, rare supply drops, which sounds worth it if it's free. But uh, with the crypto key drop rate in Black Ops 3, 
It, it was ass. It was the worst fucking shit. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a fucked up marketing move, and I know why they did it, but it's fucked up, and... Uh, when you're someone who's in their late 20s to 30s and you see this shit like I do, you, you tend to not play that game or support that company anymore because uh, we are smarter and we don't give a fuck for that shit. But kids, they don't really care. They don't have a concept of money yet. And, um, you know, they'll just get it from the parents. The parents don't really know. And it's it's such a waste of money. You know how much money Activision has to have made off of supply drops? If I don't know. It's definitely... It's way too much. Uh, it shouldn't have been done... Um, my reference point for this is Destiny. Destiny does microtransactions. It's all cosmetic most of the time. I've never had to buy a gun. I've never had to buy anything I really needed. Uh, even if it was an armor, it drops at a low light level. It's just for cosmetic purposes. The, all the armor relatively does the same shit, no matter where you get it from. Uh, it was just if you wanted that specific type, you pay a little extra to get, you know, to get a better chance of getting it. And I've never done that because I never needed to, so that's good. Um, but the drop rates of weapons in Call of Duty were so, so, so low that you almost had to pay for it, and I have never paid for it because I refuse to give that company money for something that has been free. For all years past, I pay you for the map packs, and the map packs used to come with the DLC weapons for free. So why am I suddenly paying you for not even? It's not even guaranteed. That's what blows my mind about people spending money on COD, on COD points, and and fuck the YouTubers that do that. They do it because they're getting paid to do it, so they're not losing anything from their fucking pockets. So they don't have a, they don't have the right to say anything about this. But all of us normal people who are working for a living and or maybe not working or going to school or whatever and we, and we don't have that kind of money why should we have to shell out money just to get something that is game changing there are weapons that are absolutely game changing and you you just can't get them i've gotten maybe three two or three weapons and i think there's like maybe somewhere around 12 now i stopped looking i haven't played black ops 3 for a long time people always ask me to play it and i'm just like i play for a day and i'm like i can't get back into it i just hate this company so much but, um, that's Black Ops 3, and that's in, that's going to be in the past now. We're getting Infinite Warfare soon. Hopefully that's that's cool. I mean, a lot of people are pissed because uh, of the bundling with Modern Warfare 1. That, you know, Activision is pulling a dick move there. But I understand that too, because a lot of people would prefer Modern Warfare over Infinite Warfare and would rather just play that, and if they could just buy that standalone, Infinite Warfare would see terrible sales. So I can't see too much negativity in their doing that. It's not that bad of a deal either. If you get both, try something new. I, for one, I don't know if I said this earlier in the video, but uh, I, I'm interested. They have, like, gravity grenades, and I'm not sure if grappling is a thing or not, or if it was talked about. I haven't really been following it lately. But that stuff seems cool, and, um... I'm interested in the new things that they add to Call of Duty. I don't necessarily hate it right away. I'm not really excited about all the boost jumping that's returning. That's shitty, but I'll deal with it. It's not like the the it's not the top of my concerns. My top concern is them trying to fucking charge me money after I, I just paid I think what $120 for this uh, Prestige Edition that I just ordered. And if they're gonna try to charge me to get DLC weapons, fuck that. This is my last Call of Duty. I don't care. But um. I'll probably eat those words eventually. Um, but, yeah. So, I guess my main thing with this uh, video is don't shit on the new Call of Duty. You haven't played it, or even if you have, it's not the full game yet. Uh, give it a chance. It's not bad. It, you know, Even if you don't want to buy it right away, I'm sure they might release a beta. Uh, if not, borrow it from a friend. Or, you know, give the game a shot. Uh, don't shit on it just yet. Call of Duty is kind of shitty now. But that's more because the community is shitty. The Call of Duty community absolutely sucks dick. Uh, you can hate on me all you want. The Call of Duty community sucks all the dicks in the world. But other games like Destiny or... Uh, I can't really think of any other multiplayer games off the top of my head that have decent communities. But Destiny has a, an amazing community. People will help you. You don't even have to know them. Uh, there will be like... Every once in a while you'll get that one asshole who's just a piece of shit. But 
uh, for the most part, anytime I'm on Destiny, I can f pick a random dude out of you, right over there, you, you want to help me, yeah, good, all right, great, and uh, they'll just come help me, and it, it doesn't matter, uh, even if they don't get anything from it, um, and that that's the way a community should be, the Call of Duty community is just a group of assholes playing together, and um, no one is solving the, the issues at hand with the game, which is the supply drops. That is the number one issue. All these YouTubers who are get, um, posting, oh, here's my 3 million COD point uh, opening box shit. Like, that's unhealthy. First of all, you need to get some financial management skills. And secondly, you need to pull that Activision cock out of your ass. Um, but, yeah. So... Fuck people who uh, do YouTube shit for Call of Duty in the negative way, and uh, don't shit on the new Call of Duty just yet. Those are the takeaways from this video. Have a good one, guys.